Alrighty, so we got a new build for you guys. So as you can probably tell by the title of this video, we have a new build that's focused around peeling. So the idea of this build is I just felt like every time I got a Jinx ADC, I just felt like I wanted to snowball, she wanted to AFK farm, and we didn't synergize well. So I wanted to come up specifically with a build that would work well with her. And in general, it's been working with pretty much any lane. So yeah, this build revolves around you having Guardian plus Everfrost plus Relic Shield, and I'll explain why. So Guardian gives you that safety in lane. Instead of getting Electric Q and going for the one-shot burst, which most Jinx can't do, we're going for sustained DPS fights, where the Guardian gives you more effective HP than the Electric Q would have done in damage to the enemy. So you're going to have better all-ins with a Jinx because of a sustained overtime fight, and it really synergizes with the Everfrost later in the fight. I, in general, haven't really built Everfrost this season much, and I was trying to find a build that would work well with Everfrost. And the idea is, in team fights, you want to sit back and peel your teammates. So what better? You have Guardian if they hit you with poke or try to run into you, you get extra shielding. You have Everfrost to try and peel. This is the ultimate sit back and peel. Um, finally, Relic Shield. Why do I go Relic Shield? Um, basically because you don't really need the Spell Thieves gives you 100% mana regen and that's a wasted stat because Everfrost gives you 600 mana and I didn't want to overlap stats that just end up being wasted gold values. So I go Relic Shield in this build because 100% health regen is a lot more valuable to me in this build than um, the extra 100% mana regen because I don't really need it. So yeah, that's the reason I go Relic Shield. And for boots, this game I went Swifties, but you can go any boots. I've been going um, Moby some games, Pen boots, Armor boots, Magic Resist boots, boots or whatever you want. The main build is just the Guardian, Relic Shield, Everfrost. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Like to down below, please. It really helps out. Share the video with some friends. And um, there's a link to my Twitch below. I stream from 4 to 10 p.m. EST weekdays. So enjoy the video, guys. Get the hell out of my freaking lane, you dumb dumb Lulu. That W was epic, which one? <laughs> so many W's all lane. His spirits are all around me. Warm, like hugs. Dog lightning dip. Hold the second wave. Yeah, I like to do that when they're trying to crash it because their jungle is pathing bot. So they're trying to crash the wave and push it, make it push back to them. And then they want to freeze the wave so that their jungle can gank us. And by me basically effectively holding the wave with my W there, it makes it really hard for uh, it makes it really hard for them to get the, the jungle gank because we're holding the wave in a bad position for them. You're a straight up villain, you're a skeet, and that's what you are. Jimmy team, do you count as a melee for a leg shield? You do. On top of that, your auto attack when it's mid air, if you turn into a melee champion, it counts as melee when it hits. So you can throw a range auto attack and have it count as melee. Oof, my bad. There was a gank coming and I played aggro. Hopefully he doesn't get dove here. No reason I should be playing like that there. Okay, like um, song's so good, they are. Right. Back. If Nico 
becomes Nico. How it but become you one. become it the worst? What? You okay there, buddy? An ally has been slain. Do not be bound to a single body. There are so many more. <laughs> Nico is Nico, Ba is Ba, Nico is Nico. This is facts of the world. So you'll see here, watch, I'll try it here. So I'm gonna throw my auto and turn melee off, and it turn, counts as a melee auto from range. Tower plates with my demolish, easy. I waited for the Lulu shield to go away and then I just engaged as soon as it was gone. Getting two tower plates because of demolish. How can anybody miss home? Home. Two tower plates because of demolish. That's already over a kill's worth of gold because of this rune. To combine between the two of us, but. Actually going Swifties this game because their team has a lot of slows. Tristana's W, Gwen's ulti, uh, Jinx W, Lulu Q, Glitter Lance. They have a lot of slows. So slow resistance is actually quite good here. Really, when some people watch your stream, you want to play Nico, you feel some proud and something like that? Uh, I guess, I don't know. Not really. I feel ba. I feel Doge is Doge. Ba is Ba. Like Baba, yeah. Ba is Ba, Doge is Doge. I worded that because this movie been roaming a lot. I should have been here instead of reading plates. Jinx is losing it. Unfortunate for this Jinx. If Nico 
knows your Shoma, Nico knows you. Why Guardian this game? Because look at the title of the stream. I'm just I'm just trying out this build. I'm trying out Guardian plus Everfrost, seeing how it feels. I got it. I mean, right there, if I didn't have Guardian, we probably, I probably am dead right now, realistically. Uh, maybe I'm alive still. So, your rock advice, I went 3, 5, and 27, yes, but the, the, I doubt much of that was the difference in the order. Nico top? I don't like Nico top. If Nico can be everyone, how can Nico be sure she's anyone? I have played with all I don't like top lane matchups. I tried to stay on top of Hecarim for the Guardian Shield, but unfortunately it got me an extra auto off. If 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 Hecarim kept walking backwards at me for Guardian, so I don't get an auto attack range of the uh, Trist, I think I live. But <laughs> that was funny. I feel like, man, I haven't finished my freaking support item yet. I've already got my first item and half of this. Then I realized that, oh, <laughs> I'm just, it's not even 15 minutes in yet. Never mind. Waiting for more Nico AD games. I've been here. I've been playing AD Nico on um, two Thursdays. Is my day I've been playing it recently. Like if I'm going to play Nico bot, it's usually Thursdays. Oh, 
Oh, what does she look like? I don't really want to back until I finish my support item, to be honest. Riven flash there. People with no tails. What do you have to do to finish your spray item? You have to get a thousand gold by killing minions. And it was eight gold off, so I needed to kill one more minion or just wait three gold per ten. I just need to wait another like twenty seconds. Which we did. You have to bonk minions, yeah. The tank support item is every time you kill a minion, it shares it between your ADC and you get the gold for it. And when you get a thousand gold worth of minion kills, it upgrades. So, yeah. It's usually the bad thing about this is you're going to get your wards later than if I went Spell Thieves. But I feel like it scales better because the extra HP is nice and I don't need the mana, right? Again, the big thing is the 100% health regen is just better because I already got 600 mana from Everfrost and it's just a waste of gold stats. Nico must stay unseen. Save next drive. Nico is her own drive now. Just win the game here. Wow. That was a hard sub gap ever, holy. That double kill early because of Lulu Dot getting caught under tower was huge for us. Imagine losing bot lane when you're playing strong side, cause like they didn't have to leash. They denied me EXP so I hit level two late with their jungle pathing bot and then we just straight up double kill them.